So here we're going to look at the difference between two types of timers that we have available and we're going to look at timers in general. So the blue one here, what we have is we've got an on delay timer. Um, and then we've got the black one over here which is an off delay timer. And we'll look at the differences between them. So first of all if I can get in here and get a clear image of the circuit diagram hopefully you'll see we've got a 3-2 valve that is operated by um, a time signal over here, a variable time signal. So we can adjust our time signal here in the front through the dial, you see if it's set to 5 seconds. And then once we get air um, supplied to the timer for a period of 5 seconds, once that time has elapsed, it will then allow air to flow between ports 1 and 2. And that's the main connections we have here on this timer. We have ports 1 and 2. So 2 is going out into our single acting cylinder here to represent an output and 1 is going to take our air supply from down below here okay, in the key switch. So you see this in operation when I turn on the air see the timer will start counting down and then once it gets 5 seconds of air supply we then operate um, our single acting cylinder. And let's see if I turn off the air supply, then it resets the valve. Um, also, as I'm going through here, if I turn off the air, as the timer is taken away, it will reset. Okay, so it must get air supply for the elapsed time, the preset time of five seconds, and then it will go ahead and operate. So not enough time, and then we put in enough time to get um, activation. So airflow opens the valve in here and allows air to flow between one and two. If we now look at a different scenario, um, what we have here is an off delay timer. And if you look at the circuit diagram, if we zoom in, you will see um, that it looks like a normally closed 3-2 valve, in the sense that air is already being supplied through. And then once we get our preset time has elapsed, it will activate the valve and cut off the air supply. So this works in the reverse in the sense that our output starts on um, and then after a period of time has elapsed it turns off our output. So if we want to watch that in action um, as I like literally turn on the air supply you'll see this starts out and then if I start to give it um, a pulse from down here, an air supply from down here, it will start to count and then once that counter times, that valve will shut off and now our cylinder has gone out. So it works in reverse. Um, similar technology, um, but one is an on delay timer. That is, the valve will come on after a period of time. And this one here is an off delay timer in that the valve would shut off um, after a period of time. So it starts on <coughs> and then shuts off. So two types of um, timers, we've got dial control, the visual output of the time. Sometimes we don't always get a visual output at the time, and we just have dial control. Um, but very, very neat um, timers that we can use to control our circuits.